Hi guys and uh, welcome to A Moment on the Edge. So today I've got a review of this little specimen lying on the table here. Um, it's been out for a while, number of reviews already of it, um, but absolutely beautiful knife. Um, currently one of my favorites and I acquired this probably about two, three weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer. But um, really, really a nice knife and close to my heart for a very special reason. And I was um, one of those people that had a complete disconnect between brain and hands and was not able to do the spidey flick until I got this knife. And it's taught me to do the spidey flick. It is just, it must be one of the easiest knives to spidey flick. Flick. Super smooth, um, nice detent uh, flipper, so you can do the flipper opening, you can do the, oh I'm probably going to do this plenty of times in this video, the spidey flick, and um, very easily, very, <laughs> very easy as he messes it up, very easy to do the thumb flick um, as well. Right, so Let's go through some of the specs of this uh, beautiful knife, absolutely beautiful knife. So it is a, a Todd knife and tool um, design, as probably so many of you are already uh, currently aware. So Todd knife and tool, um, the brothers Terrell and Todd. Um, Terrell, of course, has his, um, his own YouTube video, Zelric42. Um, and he's actually done a really nice review of this specific knife as well. Nice when the designer um, can review a production version of his um, of his own knife. So uh, check that out as well. So in terms of the specs of the knife, um, it is uh, in terms of materials uh, S35VN steel, so it's the CPM steel, you can see it just nicely etched on the inside there. Um, titanium scale on the lock side and uh, marbled carbon fiber on this side. Really beautiful. I must actually tell you, the first time I saw this knife without knowing what it was, I thought, what the heck is such a beautiful knife and they've used recycled plastic on this side? What, what gives? Anyway, um, you know, the uninitiated heathen that I was, um, I then discovered it is marbled carbon fiber, which just suddenly really looks much nicer to me now. Um, but yeah, really nice down. And we'll, we'll go into some of the detail on that um, design a little bit later. Uh, we have a, um, uh, oh boy, and now I've um, lost my mind here for a second. It helps, uh, it, it happens quite often. Um, ball bearing, so we have a ceramic ball bearing uh, pivot. Um, absolutely super smooth. Um, and then in terms of the actual dimensions, oh, and that's also, by the way, the, that pocket clip, interesting design on the pocket clip, uh, that's also uh, done in titanium. And the hardware uh, is not proprietary, it is all Torx, um, all around there, and I think that is T8, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I should check that, and maybe I'll confirm it down below. Um, Right, uh, in terms of the dimensions of the knife, so I'm, I'm going to give you the dimensions as they are on um, Bestex uh, website. Uh, so overall length of the uh, knife is 220 millimeters, uh, tip to tip, uh, which is 8.7 inches. The blade length is, and I'm reading off my notes here, and I can't read my own handwriting, so uh, bear with me for a second here. Uh, where was I? Blade length is 98 millimeters and that is from that point to the tip and I have actually checked that and these uh, measurements are accurate. So um, 98 millimeters from there uh, to the tip um, and, that, and I don't have that in inches. Sorry guys, didn't convert that to inches. Um, no, I do apologize for that. Maybe I'll just do a little calculation uh, a little bit later. In terms of the uh, width of the blade, it's four millimeters, so that's a, a relatively uh, thick stock. It doesn't look that stock because the uh, look that thick because the overall length of that blade, but four mil is a is a decent um, it's a decent thickness. It has quite a quite a wide grind, so you still have a pretty slicey knife, and it does get well, picking up a little bit of a flat edge on that blade there could be if that's coming across it looks like I've nicked that blade on something 
either a rolled edge or a little bit of a flat edge on that. It's super sharp. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Um, it's quite a, quite a wide grind, so it, it is really thin on the edge. Uh, and while we're speaking about that, I just got to speak about this. You know, it's a, what they call a satin finish on this blade. And I hope this comes across, but in, in the light, when it catches it, you almost get a little bit of a rainbow effect on that blade. It is absolutely stunning. And the contrast between that and this um, stonewashed area on the blade here is absolutely beautiful. So, anyway, getting back to the width. 4 mil blade width, that's uh, 0.16 inches on that. Um, then the overall width of the knife, and that's uh, without the clip, so, you know, the piece that would be going into your uh, pocket, is 12.9 um, is millimeters, and, uh, which is uh, 0.51 inches. Okay, getting back to the finish on that blade, I spoke about that grind and that satin finish on that. Um, and as you can clearly see, this is a beautiful sort of leaf shape. So it's, a, it's obviously a spear point blade, but absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got this fuller running through there and then the cutout uh, in the blade. Uh, generous jumping on the back, but the jumping is, is sort of soft finished so it, it bites it bites that way it's grippy enough that way but you can see i don't know if you can it is um, it's really nicely chamfered along the edge there um and incredibly and this uh, everybody that i think has reviewed this nice knife has spoken about this incredibly big and generous finger choil on the front there which makes this knife so 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 practical and comfortable to get a hold of i mean you're your finger really kind of gets in there if you want to choke up and even if you move back on the blade you know I've got uh, medium-sized hands and you know, people often ask well what the heck does medium mean and I wear a, a, a large glove so medium hands I wear a large glove what's that all about I don't know um, but you can see that the knife is uh, you know it's, it's, it's not a small knife uh, it's it, it's sort of a, a knife that you can get a good grip of if you if you want to do sort of hard work with it and then that, as I mentioned, just so comfortable to choke up on that. Uh, yeah, get a nice reverse grip if you want to start getting all, I don't know, fighty and tactical or, or whatever. Um, beautifully finished. I mean, you know, the chamfering around the edges over here, you know, on the, on the titanium side as well. So no chamfering there, but it's sort of a soft edge on that. And then quite fussy in its design um, and I you know it's uh, it's sort of got that high-tech feel showed in itself uh, I I believe is named after a, a villain in the PC game um, System Shock 2 I don't know games uh, that's possibly what drove some of the design or the design drove the name I'm not sure um, but nevertheless beautifully finished so we've got a nice stone wash on the uh, on the titanium on this side and then uh, we spoke about the marbled carbon fiber on the other side. Now, there are a few versions of this knife. Um, so you can get uh, the, the identical knife, but where the blade is in a, a black stone wash. And the scale on this side is a black scale, uh, um, stone wash as well. And then you get a full titanium. So instead of having the marbled carbon fiber on the show side, you've got uh, titanium. And then there are two versions of that titanium um, a knife as well. So you get the one titanium that's stone washed like that in that same color, that silver color, and then one that's stone washed in black both sides, the titanium with a black stone washed blade. So, so there are a couple of options. I really like this. I like the contrast between that stone washed gray on that side and the uh, and the marbled carbon fiber. And I, I must be honest, I prefer a non-coated blade. I, I love yeah, it's just to me the blade shows up better and if if it's if it's not a full stone wash blade and you can see the grind on it i just absolutely love that on a knife um so yeah a, a nice light knife um the the stated weight for this is um 124 grams on bestex website um well let's actually let's quickly check this with my very reflective scale let's get that centered so at least it looks decent get my 
light there in the middle of that. Um, crank this up. Uh, and let's actually see that. So that is on grams. So I've got it slightly lighter. Um, two grams lighter. So that's 122 grams on my scale. I'm not saying my scale is necessarily the most accurate. Um, and that's uh, 4.3 ounces. So yeah, nice, yeah, nice light knife. Really, really comfortable to EDC. Um, but for me, it's it's all about the action on this knife. It just is absolutely, absolutely stunning. And it's got the you know part of owning a knife for me is the sound. And this has such a nice click when it opens. It's, oh, that's nice. Um, lovely detent. You know, it kind of sucks the blade in there. It's always nice. You can see that. Always nice when it does that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, I think I've, I've pretty much covered most of the, the specs of the knife. Uh, it is uh, tip-up carry, right hand only. I think it's too much of an issue. I think lefties have learned to deal with that. Now I'm a right-hander, so it doesn't bother me all that much. Uh, we've got a lovely... Uh, backspacer uh, filled in here that sort of reflects that jumping in the front there so it's just below the surface but you know if you grip if you grip the knife your the fleshy bits do kind of go in there I did see in terms of the finish on this this area here where you've got these little cutouts on the edge I saw some early reviews that spoke about this being particularly sharp and that it could be finished off better um, I don't know if I've just got a later version of it, but that certainly has been smooth. So there's nothing, there's nothing particularly sharp along there. If it was on the early ones, it certainly isn't now. Um, we've got the Todd Knife and Tool logo sitting on the pivot. So I saw in, in Zelric's review, he speaks about you know some of the things that they specifically asked for that uh, Best Tech accommodated, um, and, um, and and it's just a better product for it. Eh? You know like the logo on the pivot screw and little things like this here we've got the, the little drilled holes in the frame here but if you look at those closely and I see if I can catch the light on that a little bit you've got the stone wash here but on the inside those are sort of glossy shiny so it seems like those were drilled or machined after the stone washing process but that's it's just such a nice touch it is, Ah, little things I like that are, are it's just a delight to own and handle a knife where that sort of thing is done. Uh, so th that's probably pretty much it on this knife. I think I've, I've covered everything. Really enjoyed owning this knife. Um, uh, great EDC. Oh, the, what I did want to do is, is do size comparison, of course. So let's lay this down there uh, and get some of the other knives that I've been using. I still don't have... Uh, my Ontario Rat, which seems to be the most commonly used knife for size comparisons, that or the Spyderco Delica, I think it is. I have neither of those knives, but I do have some knives I think that people are relatively familiar with. Um, there's the Medford Slim Midi, and you can see that those are very, very similar knives. Uh, you know, if you were looking for a specific knife around this size for EDC with, you know, a particular kind of, of slimness. I think these slimness, is that a word? It is now. Uh, <laughs> slimness. Um, these two knives would probably appeal to you in, in the same way. Uh, you know, it's slightly, you know, different in terms of uh, design language and finish. I mean, we've got ceramic ball bearings. This has got the, um, the phosphor bronze, um, not quite as as smooth and flicky on the midi mirror order, but, you know, they could be used for the same sort of thing and would be equally comfortable to carry. Anyway, this is not a a review on the um, MIDI Marauder. Um, the Mini Barrage uh, 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 Benchmade knife that probably a lot of people are familiar with. So this is obviously a, a bigger, longer knife. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that just gives you an idea of that. And then a knife that I think is going to be, I probably, I actually haven't laid these two together, but it's probably going to be a similar sort of size and even perhaps shape is the uh, Spyderco Manix 2. Now those, yeah, are, are very similar. You know, not identical, but you can see uh, very similar in sort of shape. Definitely similar in size. Also has the big uh, finger choil on the Manix. 
Um, in terms of weight, they, they probably I think the Manix is a little bit a little bit heavier. Similar thickness, the uh, the Shodan slightly thicker than the Manix. But yeah, that um, gives you an idea. So I've got to be honest with you, I, I can't really find anything negative to say about this knife. It really is super comfortable, super smooth, really well thought out, um, comfortable to hold. I've, I've heard people speaking about this knife being similar to, a, I think it is Strider. I have not owned a Strider. I've obviously seen reviews and pictures and, and, and seen um, sort of production versions of his knives. But I think that's a product of, of a function uh, that has driven the, the design. You know, it just, everything kind of works on this knife. You've got this little detent in there, this little, you know, that you, that you grab. It's comfortable to grab up there. Or if you want to get your finger a little bit forward onto, those, um, onto that finger choil. Just absolutely stunning. Well thought out. Well put together. Really, really nice knife. I mean, I, I've... Um, you know, I've, I've collected a few best techs over the years and they've always made a good product, but it, it just seems that of late they've really, really upped their game. They, they now seem to me to be every bit as good as, um, certainly as good as, if not in some cases, better than uh, we knives. So they're really putting out a, a beautiful, beautiful product. So, yeah, if you're looking for a uh, an EDC around about, you know, this size, um, Gorgeous, beautiful knife. Don't hesitate. Uh, really, really nice job, best tech, and, and great design, Todd Knife and Tool, um, for what it's worth coming from a non-knife designer or manufacturer. Guys, thanks again for sticking around. Uh, if, you've, if you've stayed this long, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Help me to grow this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it uh, takes a couple of seconds. Um, and if you've got any comments or suggestions, please um, down below, I would appreciate it. Great, have a good day and uh, God bless. Thank you.